Hi, I hope you're well. I'm very good. I'm ready to start another day in the studio. I went to the mail today and I got some little packages and I have no idea what they are. It's probably something I ordered a while ago. I can't remember what's in them, so let's check it out together. Okay, so they are, what are they? Oh yeah, I made a wish order. And I think these are glow-in-the-dark markers. I ordered a few things off of Wish just because I was curious, especially brushes and a couple other things that I wanted to gift uh, some kids in my family. And I wanted to test out the whole Wish trend. You see so many people reviewing Wish art supplies and I, I just was super curious. Nothing fancy. So today, I think I want to give a try to abstract landscapes. I'm not gonna force myself to go in a specific direction. Right now I'm thinking abstract landscapes with a pop of color somewhere along those lines but if something else comes up I'm just gonna run with it and I'm gonna see how it goes. of went all over the place some are misses for me some are okay I started with landscapes let's just take a look at them I started with this one where I mix some acrylic paint and some watercolor so this is the acrylic paint section I really like the watercolor section I think it's very dynamic and in the different shades I like that I put some dark orange here and reds and the water and some yellows. I feel like the sky is unbalanced. I don't know if it's because of the acrylic paint or maybe it's because of this dark cloud here. I think if we had this accent, 
at the bottom without the dark here and a big pop of yellow it would have been more balanced because your eye would be attracted to the horizon line with the pop of red so that's something to maybe consider i did use a gel pen for some line work in the sky and i really like that effect i tried to stay minimal with this landscape here I'm not sure that I love the yellow in the sky. I'm kind of like uncertain about this one. I like what's going on at, at the bottom of the this image. I'm not sure about the sky, I guess. Then, I don't know what this is. Actually, I kind of like went fully abstract and I played again with the yellow, gray and white. I'm really not satisfied with this. Then I tried stacking some rocks. <laughs> So these two things. I quite like the contour line here when I leave a gap between the yellow and the white. Here, stacking the two big shapes without any contour line. I think it's interesting. Maybe it would be more interesting if the gray was a little darker. I think if I had to change something about this, I would put the gray a little bit darker and I would put a contour line on the bottom here. But I think it's interesting. I would see this as a very large format. And I took a lot of time for the last piece. It might not look like it, but I was going back and forth. So I feel like there's too much going on here texture wise. I think that I like the bottom part here. I like the mountain shape, although there might be a bit too much texture in the mountain. And I don't like the sky at all. I think it's just too much is going on. Maybe if this, the mountain shape was very sleek, it could handle the sky. I'm, uh, I'm not even sure. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm just gonna wipe this paint here and just to see what it gives without like all this texture, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that by wiping this, it's not gonna make the painting very nice. I think it might muddy the colors and make it not help in any way, but I'm just doing this for study purposes, so I'm going to try it anyways. This works a lot better for me. So I could put on more details here in the, the mountain and fix kind of this texture here. But already without all that was going on in the sky, it makes it more balanced because a lot of things are going on here at the bottom. So even the texture here is kind of distracting. But I'm happy with the result. I got the information. Too much texture is not amazing. I kind of did many different things, but I'm learning more and more about the yellow and white and gray, which I really like. And I do enjoy landscapes. I feel like that's a staple. Everybody probably kind of enjoy landscapes. So I have a lot of cleanup to do. Look, this is what my desk looks like. It's not very Instagrammable, or is it? I'll see you tomorrow.